Life is only a dream. From the collection of Zen stories told by Master Taizen Deshimaru, a man wished to become rich, and every day he continuously prayed and prayed to God in order to realize his dream. One winter evening, coming back home from church, he accidentally saw stuck in the icy road a wallet full of money. Immediately, he tried all, with all his force to pull it out. However, due to the hard ice, the wallet resisted against his efforts. Finally, he decided to urinate on it to make the ice melt, and then he woke up suddenly in his bed, completely wet. There, our life is exactly that. Enlightenment is neither a special condition of consciousness nor a transcendental state of mind. It is only the true realization of our life. The head and the tail from the collection of Zen stories told by Master Taizen Dashimaru. Once upon a time, there was a snake whose head and tail always disputed with each other. The tail said, "I am always behind you. You are before me, and I have to follow you. That is not fair." Finally, the tail decided not to go behind any more. She coiled up around a tree and refused to advance. The head saw a big and delicious frog, but he could not catch it. Okay, the head had to agree that the tail would go first. But the tail had no eyes, and oof! She fell down into a big hole, and the head was smashed against a big hard rock. The snake died instantly. So, among us, who is head and who is tail? Finish a meal, wash dishes. From the collection of Zen stories told by Master Taizen Dashimaru. A very famous story of Zen Master Joshu. A disciple of Joshu once insisted, "Master, please teach me the true doctrine of Buddhism." Joshu asked him, "Have you finished your meal yet?" "Of course, Master. I have already finished it." "Then wash your dishes." That was all of Joshu's teaching. Personally, we find the middle way. His teaching is so severe and profound for the higher and intelligent disciples, but it is so gentle for the beginners and ordinary ones. Don't try to escape. From a series of Zen stories told by Master Taizen Deshimaru, Sariputra, a great disciple of the Buddha, was sitting in meditation by the edge of a lake. On the water surface, fish, shrimps jumped over and over, in and out, causing much noise. Sariputra changed the place and found a very remote corner in a forest. But this time, he was terribly annoyed by birds singing over his head. Ideas flooded in. Illusions raised continuously in his mind. As a matter of fact, such foolish birds and fish caused him much trouble. Sariputra suddenly decided to catch and eat them all. However, indigestion made him have severe stomach pains. This anecdote is a fact of Sariputra's life when he was young. So, as you see, dear listener, it is useless to escape from the noise of birds or water creatures. Because the trouble really comes from our inner mind, not from the outside.